Right, back in the little town and stream. Um, probably be a practice run. Last time I've fished, I've had about three runs up in here just for practice sakes, really, um, to get into the season proper and give the body a bit of a workout. Uh, in the three trips here, I think I've only seen about three or four little trout and no takers. And anyway, today I'm just starting off with a pretty well beat up little used old um, Agaloo Moots Noir, a gold one, and uh, using the Akumari Pixar XT20 reel. All fuel readings says, all spooled with um, pre test platypus line, four pound, ultra thin. And we've got the Akuma Cellulo Finesse Rod, one to three kilo ultralight spin rod. Six foot six one today we're using. Beautifully balanced setup, as you can see how, how well balanced that, that is when it just sits on your on one one finger there. Perfect. And that's even with the lure hanging on it. So yeah, but anyway, we'll give it a go and let's hope we can get a fish or two up in here today. Big storm coming in later on. Winds up to 100 kilometres an hour, so. Thought I'd best get this, um, get out this morning and have a little, another little run before it sets in again. I really hate August, really do. Well, I know there's one trout in here because I just got to here I am now. A uh, little one died off out of that uh, tail end of this long run here. Just a little bow wave dock move off and head upstream there. It wasn't very big, it wasn't a very big bow wave. So. That's the first sign of a trout I've, I've had since I've been in this um, stream. And oh, we'll, we'll just keep plodding on. Oh, I still haven't had a touch or a follow. It was only been half an hour, but even, even so, I thought I might have had a, at least a follow. I don't know how much longer I'll be in here. It's, um, couple of spots of rain, I'm just looking over to my left out there and the, the uh, mountains have sort of started to disappear now. Anyway, I'll just fish on a little bit further and just see how we go. Right, just get our first trail. A uh, little treble lure that he's taken. I've only got, it's not a treble anymore, it's, a, it's just a double. One of the trebles broke off when I was sharpening it. So. It was a pretty well old huge one. He's taking it, he's painting it pretty well down inside the jaw. That was long cast right up to that barrier. I just saw a little bit of a ripple on top of the surface. I thought oh, I'll have a flick up there and see what happens. And uh, yeah, so this little fella grabbed hold of it. Just for that we've got one. Alright, oh, no. he's all good. Bit, bit on the skinny side. But uh, he's off. He can't drop me bloody near drop the camera in the water. A few spots of rain starting to rock up here. So it looks like it's coming in earlier than what they forecast. One especially this afternoon. But we'll keep on, it's just nice and light at the moment. It's only like a very light drizzle. Uh, not enough to really make me too wet. But, uh, We'll push on up here and around the corner and we'll just keep going. And hopefully we can still um, pick up another fish or two. This is a little beat up egg here. It's just got the, the uh, two hooks left on the tree, on the, which was once a treble hook. But it did the job. Got a fish. I mean, it only takes one hook to catch a fish anyway. The big guns come down across the river here some time back by looks of things. Yeah, of course a big blockage if we get a, a big downfall, downpour and that, uh, river floods and bring a lot of rubbish down with it. So we'll take this whole corner out. Such a beautiful peaceful um, place down in here, it's glorious. And it'll be good when the trout finally come back on in here. I, I think that maybe probably middle or maybe end of September I think before it picks up the way it is at the moment. Well oh, that's a bit of a fizzer of a day. At least a quarter trout today. The first one I've got in this little stream. I'm just using it for practice at the moment. Um, if I was serious I'd be continuing on. There'd be no fish in it anyway. 
And yeah, so I fizz up with one, one little brown corn release, probably only about 240, 250 grammer. Bit skinny too it was. Then I had a hit and a miss for another one further up about 40 minutes later. And then uh, I was an upper call today. And uh, the wind picked up and it's dropped off again here now. I'm a bit, bit sheltered, but rain's starting to set in. And and I've had a bit of trouble with my hips today, so it's not worth pushing on for when there's no fish around. If they were there, I'd be right into it. But um, no, still, it's always another day. So it'll, uh, now it's time for a, you know, a Pepsi, Pepsi Max, and I haven't got any Freddos. There's a milk, couple of Milky, uh, Milky Ways today. So the next one, guys, tight lines. Right, just done a 20 minute walk, we're back in another little town and stream. Caught, caught a bit of a rain shower on the way here. Uh, it was blowing like hell when I left home, but up in here it's pretty well sheltered at this stage, it's good. It's, uh, it's a bit cool. Like I said, it's uh, caught to three in the afternoon, so let's just see how we go. It was very dark town in colour. Just hope there's a few little wild browns in here. Um, see how we go anyway. I'm starting off with a um, micro pigment and then the, the rain, rain, a little rainbow aglius, size zero, two and a half gram. And see how we go with that for starters. Well, uh, I fish right up through that long stretch of water back down there. Probably fish uh, about 70. 80 metres of water, no sign of a trout. It's pretty shallow actually, clearer and uh, yeah, and I was doing a lot of bottom bouncing with that, with the um, two and a half gram um, fluoro in the rainbow pattern there. So I've gone for, I've gone for a little, um, just a little old uh, silver aglia, just a um, one and a half gram and now a little lightweight one. And, yeah, we'll have a crack with that now and see how we go. But yeah, so far not a sign of a trout in the in this in this, in this water here anyway. Perfect day for it too. Let's go our first little brown. It's in this nice wide pool. It's about um, probably about a foot deep up there, but I got him off this right hand side here. He's just behind that where that headwater is. Had a little tad, but uh, anyway, we'll get him off, photograph him, let him go. And don't forget, wet your hands before you handle them. Thanks, guys. Well, he's only a little tucker. This one needs a good feed, too. Anyway, let him go. He's on his way, he's dug off over there. So. Oh, at least it's not a donut day in this little stream. Certainly, some nice water and water up through here. Last time I fished up here, I only got a couple, I think it was, such two or three, I'm not sure what it was now, but it's um, some lovely water ahead and someone's um, storage barrels come floating down the river off the farm somewhere. The wind's really come up, right in my face now, it's had a massive wind, wind knot in my line, so I untangled that and I had to take a bit of it off and shorten my line a bit and uh, rubbed it up and put it in my vest. Never toss your line away but if you've got a bit of a knot and line over always put it in your pocket or something. Don't, don't toss it in the water or leave it in the bushes. Uh, it's no good for the environment. And little birds come along they tangle up in it and platypus in rivers will can get all tangled up in it. So yeah so always take your, your crap home with you. Anyway, I just like hooked and lost a little trout up in here after I got started again. So, but, uh, the winds winds not helping now, but I'm straight straight down here in my face. Beautiful water like this. There's not a sign of a fish in this pool. I've just been going through here. It's one of the best looking pools. It's one of the next one up further. It's probably the two of the best um, pools of, on this whole little stretch of water. There we go. There's the second one of the day, only a little tacker. He had three cracks at it, three little taps on the back end of it before he took it. Yeah, we're getting out, looks a bit deformed on the back this one. 
Yeah, anyway, that was just taking the direct car straight up there. And, uh, yeah, you got it. So we'll, anyway, we'll, we'll get him off and put him back in the direct. Yeah, see his back's deformed there, down towards the, behind that top fin. So, anyway, let him go. He's good. On his way. Right, well, that's only a, that was a quick session, an hour and a half. By the time I hit the river and back to the car, I was in the river at what, uh, quarter to three, and quarter past four, and I got back to the car. Uh, just three hookups, two little trout landed, one, lo one, one lost. Um, water's a bit low, it's freezing cold. I, I think it's only about, probably about five, five degrees here at the moment. Westerly breeze blowing, it's supposed to not even supposed to die off today, but anyway. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed. Another little town on water is not fishing well. So I just hope these bigger rivers will soon drop in water levels, so I'm going up in one have a go. It's, um, I don't like fishing there are parts where I can go and fish from the river bank, casting out, and then you've got a bush bash and get around another part. I'd soon be in the river chasing them, so um but hopefully sometime this week I'll get into a back into a bigger river and have a have a crack and maybe get a few decent trout. So um, yeah, so that's it anyway. Two trout, another two to the tally. There's only a dozen. It was the 30th today, the 30th of August, and I've only caught a dozen trout. And I think this time last year I had about 28. So I'm pretty well down. Till next time, guys. Bye.